Hey everyone, this is Bethany Teal, art teacher, and I want to share with you a great book I discovered. This book, Making a Great Exhibition, by Doro Globus and Rose Blake, was just sent to me by David Zwerner Books and is now available for pre-order on Amazon. I'm going to read this book to you, and I think that this is a book you might want to check out for yourself or for your school library or home library because not only is the story excellent for inspiring young artists to create exhibitions and attend art museums, but it also teaches them new vocabulary words. It has a lot of extra additions that I'm not going to be able to read today. Extra words and extra subtitles that are all throughout the book. So. If you're ready, get cozy and I will read to you Making a Great Exhibition. Making a Great Exhibition by Doro Globus and Rose Blake. For Tristan. How is a great exhibition made? It takes many people with lots of different skills. Let's take a look. This is Viola. She is a sculptor. She makes art out of rock, marble, metal, and clay. Some things she makes are even bigger than you. This is Sebastian. He is a painter. He makes colorful pictures out of shapes and lines on canvases of all sizes. They are both artists. Both of these artworks are abstract. They are made out of shapes and forms, but don't look like something from real life. This is what one of Viola's sculptures looks like when she's done. This is one of Sebastian's paintings. Artists work in studios that can come in all shapes and sizes. Viola lives in a big city and uses an old toy factory for her studio. Sebastian lives in the countryside and his studio is part of his house. This is the inside of Viola's big studio. She has lots of assistants helping to make her sculptures. It is a busy place and everyone must be very careful. This is Sebastian's painting studio. He works by himself, although sometimes his cat gets involved. His studio is full of paint pots and brushes. He makes his paintings as big as the wall will allow. Artists use things they like to give them ideas about what to make. Viola likes dinosaurs, shells, ancient art, masks, and cookies. Sebastian likes candy, flowers, Egypt, animals, and quilts. Being an artist means seeing the everyday world a bit differently. Viola sees shapes everywhere she goes. She finds forms like circles, swirls, and lines in nature and makes them into something brand new. Sebastian also has a special way of looking at the world around him. He likes to examine the way colors meet each other. He does quick sketches wherever he goes, but when he gets back to his studio, he breaks down what he saw into small parts, creating new forms. Here are Sarah and Tom. They are art handlers. It is their job to pack up all the artworks carefully so they don't break on their way to the museum. They use big wooden crates, lots of soft foam, and metal bands. They are getting Viola's sculptures and Sebastian's paintings ready to ship to the museum.
The artworks travel up to 10,000 miles from the studios. 5,545 miles by cargo jet, 9,938 miles by container ship, or 320 miles by truck. At last, after a long journey and many weeks of travel, the sculptures and paintings arrive at the museum. Everyone is so excited to get started on this great exhibition. This is Cliff. He is a curator. It is his job to pick what goes inside the museum and where each artwork should be placed. Cliff is getting ready for Viola and Sebastian's exhibition. He has made a model with miniature versions of all the artworks so he can decide where each one should go. It is just like a dollhouse. It takes many people to make a great exhibition. Here are art handlers Isabel and Liam. It is their job to hang the paintings on the wall and place the sculptures. They must be very, very careful. They are working alongside Sam, who is a lighting designer. It is Sam's job to get the lights just right so everyone can see all the details in the artworks. This is Dorothy. She is the editor who works on books about artists and their exhibitions. Books are often made about an exhibition so that visitors can bring the art home with them. Lots of different people come together to make them. After the paintings are hung and the sculptures are put in the right place, Viola and Sebastian meet curator Cliff to take a look. There are still a lot of finishing touches to take care of. Opening night is a time to celebrate. It is the first time the exhibition is open to family and friends. After a tour of the museum, the artists and everyone who worked on the exhibition enjoy a fun and very special dinner. People young and old come to see the artworks. They think about how they were made, what inspired them, and what they are looking at. It also takes you, the visitor, to make a great exhibition. And what a great exhibition it is! Well, that's the end of the book, and I hope that you enjoyed Making a Great Exhibition by Doro Globus and Rose Blake. And again, I hope you notice all of the wonderful details in this book that truly can only be appreciated in person. There were a lot of things that I passed over when reading the story because of time, but I think that if you pick up a copy yourself, you can really enjoy all of the extra details and information for yourself.